Alright, so to take a break from the uh, Life is Strange cringe uh, factory, we're going to go back and forth between this game and Bloodborne. So yeah, we're going to do two games at the same time here. I forgot to mention that in my Life is Strange uh, series, but um, basically noon, Life is Strange, at 8 p.m. at night, Bloodborne. So uh, this is um, this is a game I kind of really got into last year. I just oh, I'm I'm hardcore in Bloodborne now. This I love the art style of this game. I love the combat on it. Um, we're gonna start up a new game here. We're not gonna do New Game Plus because I kind of already started New Game Plus because New Game Plus starts immediately after you finish your main, you know, your first playthrough. All right, so we'll go with a new game here. Oh yeah, pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Uh, sir, can you even see that contract? Yeah, there's, there's gonna be a lot of references to blood in this game. Alright, so time to make our character here. Alright, um, uh, what, what, what are we gonna name, um... <laughs> Oh, I have the perfect name for him. Alright, no, not for Fart. Uh, far no. Fred, no. No, no. Fred! Fred! Fartwater. Will be the name we're going to go. Of. Ah, shit, why is that fucking A capitalized? Fartwater. So, Fred Fartwater will be our. Guy. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it, it, we'll make Fred Fartwater a chick. How about that? Age. Uh, yeah, was an origin. What the? Let's go with. Uh, oh, that's the fuck is waste of skin. Waste of skin all the way to the very bottom here. But we'll go waste of skin and appearance. Let's see. Um. Can you just give me some, like, regular, like... I mean, we're not gonna put too much detail into her. I mean, we're gonna put a mask on or anything, we full body armor. But, um... Yeah, let's give me some price pre presents there. Oh, what we got here? Uh, da, 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 da. Um... Like I said, it doesn't really fucking matter. Do, 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 um, uh, hell of it. That's fine, that's fine enough. Alright. Yep, final on this contract. Alright, here we go. So, Bloodborne is a little bit different from the Dark Souls games. Uh, Dark Souls is a little bit more slower, technical approach. This one, you're just balls out and just hope you don't get killed. But uh, this game. The reason why I'm doing Bloodborne along with Life is Strange is Bloodborne is a really long game. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Um, is this happens, sanitary? You may think it all a mere bad. Oh, well, sir, you're getting kind of blurry. I can't see. Why is your top hat so fucking huge? He does have a really big top hat. Oh, this is a little bit darker in here. Actually, I think we're out of the cutscene because this looks like uh, actual in-game assets here. I guess I think so. Oh, there's a... Ah, uh, there's a thing coming out of the pool of blood that's on the floor. It looks like we have a werewolf thingy bob crawling out of it. I'm oh, okay. I'm about to die. Okay, so much for this game being long. I'm gonna die here at the very start. 
Oh, whoa, he's on fire. Well, we were running along those, we know what his weakness is. But yeah, Bloodborne's a really, really long game. If we just do Bloodborne, it'll take us way too long to do as we get these, uh... We got, uh... This creepy little uh, creepy dude here. Oh, wait, we got two creepy dudes. Oh, God, that guy looks really fucked up. Um, help! I'm being groped by aliens! Uh... Things happen, I don't want to talk about it. You found yourself a hunter. Alright, here we go. Level 1. Actually, we're level 4. I don't want to start me off on level 4. It's kind of strange. Seek pale blood friends in the hunt. So basically, we're a hunter, and we have to... Actually, I really don't know what the fuck the story of this game is. Gotta get used to the combat here, and make sure there ain't nothing here now. Let's see. Get used to, yeah, actually, see if I can... Ooh, that's a kind of a strange attack. Yeah, I'm just trying to get used to the controls here. Been a while since I've played. Okay, don't have any items. B is to run. Alright. Why, why is my character... What? What am I holding? Why am I holding my hands like this? Alright. Hey, look, there's that fucking wolf thing there. Let's go beat him up. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I already forgot what the fuck controls were. Oh, I'm dead. I am... Oh, my God. Oh, there's our first death. You died. Get used to that. You're going to be seen in a lot. Oh, the Kurt Hammer. Or Kurt Hamlin. This is a wall pedal you play the whole time you play solos. It's not an actual fucking... It's not a weapon. It's just a guitar with a wall pedal attached to it. Well, that hunt went well. And this is the, if I remember correctly, the hunter's dream. Of the, uh, the moon here. This is a big ass moon. Let's see, an abandoned doll. That's a really big ass doll. Hey, look, we got weapons down here. Uh, we'll pick the saw cleaver. And we have a firearm. We'll take the pistol. Now we got up here. Notebook. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Oh, we can't go that way. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, equip. Uh, equip. Equip. I can't fucking speak English properly. We'll equip some items here. Alright, there we go. I'm trying to get used to you know, I'm trying to get used to controls again. So, weapons can transform on here. It's all uh, cleaver. Go long, go short. Doll still won't talk to us here. Bathmaster, training black ops, buy and sell weapons. Blood valves, that's um, storage P, quicksilver bullets, for, you know, for a gun, obviously. Lots of cocktails, pretty self explanatory from going fire. And let's see, you got a tire here, so we're gonna. If we need to get some better items to wear, there's that. <laughs> I also we can also find items in the environment as well, so we do not have to purchase them here. Still close. Dead doors close. Can't go there. And. Hunter's uh, dream is a uh, pretty decent size. Stump messenger. Uh, we'll give him the yarn messenger hat for no reason. And now, now they're wearing a hat. They're wearing like a 1940s hat. So now we got these weapons here. We got um, these are uh, tombstones here that are for the chalice. So we'll go ahead and head back into the real world. I'll head back to the uh, sick room. 
So I was trying to take on that wolf one more time and not get the shit beat out of us. You notice he had very little health. I think that was the same werewolf. I'm assuming this werewolf that attacked us before. And we got hit when he caught on fire and took a bunch of his health off. I'm assuming that. Alright. Oh, well, there's uh, also, yeah, we uh, running and have to jump like that. Alright, it's time to beat the shit out of this thing. And I gave us like 240 some blood echoes. Let's see. I also got these little things here. So the triangle, the heal, which we'll be we'll be doing a lot. We're gonna be taking a lot of hits. I am not a master of this game by all. No, not a master of this game. You're. I um. That's the thing. I kind of have a bad habit of playing games and playing them on hard. Sure enough, I'm playing Bug Bloodborne, which is a really fucking difficult game. So you know, it's a Souls game, so let's go on the count up there. So you can't go that way. We can go this way. Now welcome to Central Yarm. I think that's how you say it, Yarm. Blood Valve, so we're up to 9. Uh, maximum is 20, you can get items where you need more. So dodging is a really big thing on this game. And also, you counter, or you can, you can kind of stagger the enemies by shooting them right when they attack you, and it staggers them to do like a really, uh, you can do like a visceral attack on them, I think that's what it's called on them. Where the hell that thing is does not sound good. And of course all these lanterns here we use to take back to the hunter stream. Alright, so here we go. We have uh, a lot of people down that way. Now we're gonna play this game. Oh, I only took one hit. Um, this isn't my first playthrough, obviously. I played for this game. This is probably my third playthrough. I've only been the game fully once. And I can't tell you how many hours I spent in this one particular spot. I want to just flip the swing and look like that. Yeah, that little border is going to make it more uh, difficult to guess. Uh, whoa! Back up here, getting a little better. Yeah, we'll take the LB1 Kenobi strategy here, get the high ground here. So, quite a, quite a departure from Life is Strange, ain't it? Yeah. Go from a game that's like really story heavy with absolutely or very little gameplay to a game that's there's really not that much story at all. This is just fucking combat. Yes, it's, it's a good yin and yang, good power clincher between the two of them. You will. Now. Ah, no, that don't work. Oh, that guy was there sleeping with his rifle or pistol. Didn't even notice me. Yeah, I see you there, both. I like I saw like a video of someone beat this game in like 34 minutes. We're not doing that, obviously. Whoa! I came up with a big ass point. Uh, not busher axe, busher knife, or blade, whatever. Whatever that thing is. And the thing is, when we have such little health. You know, especially being level four. You know, we're just we're not gonna be able to take that many hits. 
summit over there, we can't get to it. We got this thing in our way. They're like forging arms, if you guys remember those guys. And they made a saw clear on there. I think, like, that thing was like, it looked like it was like really fucking heavy. They did a fucking shitload of work on it, too. It looked pretty cool. Alright, I might head back to Turney's blood that goes to get beat up. Blood that goes to get used to level up. Oh, whoa! Yeah, time that fuck me. And there's our first actual death. That's thing, even like the lowest enemies on here, if they just catch you in the right spot, they can fuck you up, man. And they ain't fucked me up. All right, so let's go. Now we can go back to where we died at. And get our blood echoes back, however, we can't die if we get back here, otherwise, you know, then we can't get them. Now, do we just bum rush that spot? Or do we kill everything if we can to make sure we We're gonna try a bum rush it. Now, but. Character, like if an enemy has picked up your butt echo, you may be able to tell who he is because his eyes will be glowing white. Like a really, really powerful. Like they'll just glow really strong. You'll be able to tell it easy. And so far, none of these guys have got our blood echoes yet. I don't think I've seen any other people. Oh, the point of this guy is like fucking coming for us. And also, if you do the transform, uh, transform thing while you're attacking, you do get a pretty good combo. And also, if you get hit and you do lose some health, if you attack immediately after you lose that health, uh, you can actually regain it back. So far, we have not run into the guy who's got our blood echoes yet. God, I hope he's not in this group, because that's gonna, that's gonna suck if he is. Yep, he's in the group. So he's gotta take these guys one by one. Ah, you fuck you. Oh, oh shit. Take some damage. This thing, they're, they're just as bad at swinging as wildly as me. I think every single enemy on this game can be potentially very dangerous. Is this guy with our blood echoes? Ow! I did take a shot there. Ow, oh, damn. Yeah, we're. I don't think I kill him because I said we gotta retrieve him. Come on. Swing a big fucking over. He's actually not a big fucking ogre, I'm sorry. That was, that was mean of me to say that. Now I'm on, oh god, I'm on fire right now. Oh shit. And you see right there, we was able to get some of our health back. I gotta take out this guy with this fucking right up here. This is getting fucking annoying. Now the cold blood of the dew is not mountain. Yeah, that's a fucking terrible joke. Ow. But uh, basically, if you use that, you do get some blood echoes out. And speaking of which, we got our blood echoes back. Go kill this last guy here. We'll go ahead and turn these sun positions back in. So we got 2,000 and some. We'll go ahead and level up. Um. Probably, probably go one, maybe two levels. I'm not necessarily sure what I'm going to use. We definitely we need it everywhere. You know, strength, 
Um, stamina is really low. Our health is terrible. So we're gonna return back to Hunter Stream. Now, when you go back to Hunter Stream, when you come back out, all the enemies that we have killed outside of bosses will respawn. It's kind of similar to Metroid in the same way where you re leave the room, and if you come back. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's open up here. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now. I am... Gehrman. Friend to you, Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Oh, well, that's great. To know. This was once a safe haven for hunters. No, oh, that's why they call it a stream. workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. So here's the um, workshop here where we for our weapons with blood echoes and blood shards. We currently don't have enough of those. Prepare weapons for the durability. Uh, I think I'll worry too much about that at the moment. <laughs> and there is there is some stuff on the story in this game, but it's really. You know, I'm starting to think maybe you can't level up until you beat the first boss. Hmm. Shit, I don't. I might have to go. F I might have to fight the first boss first, kill the first boss, then we can level up. And so, if that's the case, me trying to do all of this is completely pointless. And also, being down by six levels compared to ten, you know, I'm four. Oh, the first boss is going to suck. I think my best strategy is just simply is to panic. Or at least kind of fall into the blood that goes, because that's what I'm going to do. Just hope these guys drop as many as possible. I know how to get to the first boss. First boss, um, it's not that far away. I just gotta hold these guys, drop as many blood eggs as possible. Cocktails, we'll go ahead and put them into our slot here. Also, it does kinda suck when you like when you roll, you can't like you know get out of the little menu there where the item pops up at. I'm gonna drop a blood echo, that's all I want. Ah, uh, you all suck. I mean, blood vials, excuse me. I mean, they are dropping blood echoes, what the fuck am I Quick some bullets. I don't even, like, the first boss, I'm not even sure you can even, like, stagger the first boss. I don't know. But we'll go ahead and head there now since we're getting kind of. Close to the view here, see if we can at least make it. God, having no stamina, this, I feel like it's worse than having as little help as I have. So up to 11 now. What the hell's going on inside this house? No, I'm not. Stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> oh, that's a nice over. This canapical light uh, laughing at me. 
Oh, we have these fucking crows. Oh, shit. Okay, that's how you cycle. I think that's how you cycle. So that will cover thing in oil, and then we use them all as a cocktail, and not really fuck them up. So we got this big ass ogre here. We're gonna try to run past him. This get the things are next to him. Torch. Whoa! Oh, the hell of there, big boy. Ah, uh, we're not gonna bother finding him because there's no point. Oh, there's some. Blood vials here. Assuming that there is. I don't know. More Mountain Dew. Mm, that's like gangly looking dog. Right, come back to this side. Ah, you fucker! Where'd your fucking buddy come from? Oh god, they're, okay, there's six. Go on, go, haul ass, haul ass, haul ass, go, 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 run, run, run. Alright. Let's check and see if there's something back here. Oh, uh, except for this asshole. Really? Yeah, that little helmet came up the fucking. Uh, let's go run past the werewolves here. Keep my eye out on them. Alright, and go. Okay, that did not fucking work. Oh shit! Okay, we're almost there. <sighs> and there's the first boss that said. Oh my god, did the fucking cocktail miss? Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, he jumped right on top of my ass. Fuck you, go to your ass. Okay, that took some decent amount of health off of him. Jump towards where the shadow was. I already started chomping on his legs. So basically, all the strategy for the blood... Oh, no, no, no. He's got a hold of me. He's got a hold of me. This ain't good, Daryl. Oh, man. There went half my fucking health. Shit, I'm gonna be using these blood aggro like fucking that's why. Ah shit, I'm gonna fucking die, man. Yep. Yeah, all the damage I've done to him has just been your fucking Bottle of cocktails. I'm tagging this thing right in the fucking crotch. Ooh. Keeps in these little backhands on me. Come on, lunch forward, lunch forward. There we go. Just gotta kind of stay behind him here. Yeah, that's pretty much the strategy of the Dark Souls stuff, is to keep, you know, <laughs> chopping their ass up. Ah, shit, I can get this back in front of here. 
Alright, get back behind him here. Ah, there's a hit. Heal. Gotta get back behind him here. Shit, okay, thank you for me. We got him almost down here. Just need to charge forward. Oh crap. Come on, go for it. Oh, God. We almost got him. There we go. Yeah! Hell yeah, that's the way to end the video. First boss down. Oh. Not bad for level four. So I'll go ahead and head back to the Hunter stream, we'll level up here. Oh shit.